This video is for the copyright CC GIF assignment three. First, you're gonna go into Google Drive and click on recent, and you're going to open up the slideshow that you created during the last lesson. Then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to um, add a paragraph in which you describe what people can and cannot do with your image. So you're gonna click after the link that you included. And then from here, what you'll do is you'll hit enter. So click after the link and then hit enter. And basically I already have an example paragraph that's here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to paste it right now. So this is an example paragraph. There are three things that you want to include. You want to include whether or not people need to give you credit. You want to include whether or not people are allowed to sell it. And then finally, you want to tell whether or not people are allowed to change it. So then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to actually add your gift to your slide by clicking on this little icon. You're gonna click on the drop down, and then you're going to click on drive. And then it's going to come up with all of your images and you're going to double click on your GIF in order to add it. You wanna make sure you do the one that says easygift.com. So then you can see that the GIF appears right there. Then what you're going to do next is you're going to put your pointer on the slide on the left, which is what's called a thumbnail. You're going to two finger click on it and you're going to choose copy. Then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to open up a class slideshow that's been shared with you. And you're going to do that by going into Google Drive. You're going to click up at the top where it says search and drive and you're going to type in fair use projects and you're going to see something appear and you're going to click on that slideshow. And then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to be able to see other people's um, different gifts. Um, but anyway, that being said, what you're going to do is you're going to put your pointer in between two other slides. So for example, like right here, um, and I'm just going to now two finger click and choose paste. If that comes up, you're going to click install. You may or may not see that. So that being said, um, if that does come up, then you will need to install that. Um, but otherwise, what you can do is if it doesn't let you paste that way, you'll just click and then hit Control V on your keyboard. And so then basically what you'll see, um, and this import slides doesn't really have to do anything. If you want to click on Keep Original Styles or Link and Keep Original Styles, it honestly doesn't matter. Um, but anyway, so that being said, that's pretty much all you have to do. And then you are finished.